Hi everyone, I'm Carrie Pena and this is Good Morning Sunshine. I want to welcome to our studio today Dr. Matt Huntelman, who is a professor at TGen. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. I know you're very busy, so we appreciate you coming in to spend some time. First off, explain to folks who don't know a little bit more about what TGen is all about. Yeah, TGen is a nonprofit scientific research institute. And we really focus on leveraging some of the discoveries of the human genome to make improvements in health. What I love is you're really trying to make a connection to the wider population to say like, we don't want you to feel that science is off limits because what we're doing here is important today and into the future. Yeah, that's right. I think that you know historically science has done a poor job of making sure that everyone was involved in the research and research decisions are really important. Research findings make a difference when it comes to medical care. And so it is really important that we understand how to involve the entire public during the research phase. And you are doing this a, on a large scale. We're gonna talk about this study, which is incredible. Your focus is changing the way healthcare happens as it relates to brain health. Talk about that. Yeah, that's right. My team is focused on the brain. And what we think is really one of the challenges with brain health is that so very few of us know how are our brains doing. Uh, it's not part of our typical health care. So for example, when you go for your wellness visit, the doctor might uh, take a sample and check your cholesterol, for example. But very rarely does the doctor check in on how your brain's doing. And we really think that needs to change because there's a lot we can learn by checking in on our brains routinely. So I want to show this 3D model of the brain and, and, and talk to me about what we can learn and how that can inform our decisions as we get older. Yeah, we're really excited about the uh, 3D model of the brain because that represents actually someone's actual data. So to generate this 3D model, it happens after someone participates in our mobile lab study. So the neat thing is, uh, as part of this study, we'll take a picture of your brain and we'll use that information to generate this model and we'll send it to you in the mail. So you are quite literally taking science on the road. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, that's right. We are taking our science and our technology on the road. Uh, we have built a mobile laboratory that includes a space for taking pictures of your brain. And our team is going to be on the road visiting various cities uh, throughout Arizona and California and bringing our science to your doorstep. And that matters because not everyone can come to Phoenix, Arizona to participate. So we're gonna to come to you. You have this incredible study that you've been working so hard on, MindCrowd. And I understand that you've had 500,000 people involved in this. What is this all about? Yeah, so MindCrowd turns 11 this year, actually. And it is an internet-based study of the brain. It takes just 10 minutes to complete from start to finish. And we actually show you how you did. There's a couple brain games that you play and you can see your score. Uh, so it's really simple to participate. Anything that you have uh, in your life that connects to the internet, you can join our study on. Your phone, your laptop, your tablet. And all you have to do is go to mindcrowd.org. What is the ultimate goal of this study? And you, what do you want people, if I'm listening to this thinking, okay, yeah, brain health, you're right, I get my cholesterol checked, I, I get a mammogram, you know, whatever that may be yearly, but I don't, I've never had a brain scan. So right. what do you want people to learn from what you're doing? Right, what's really important with the other tests that you mentioned, let's just, take, let's just stick with cholesterol. We understand what the averages look like, what the population averages look like for a cholesterol measurement. We don't have a good sense of that for your brain performance. And that's one of the goals of MindCrowd is to create this very clear picture of how other people like you perform on a certain brain game because then we can start to understand how you're doing compared to other people like you. And that's exactly how we manage cholesterol. We try to understand uh, you know, where you sit with regards to other people and should we treat it or should we just watch and wait? How could this help us if we have some insight into our brain function as we're getting older? We're sitting here in a room, our crew, we have a lot of you know, folks who are in their 20s and 30s in this room. So even is there something you could see even at that age that maybe you could change the trajectory of your brain health? Yeah, that, that's a great question. I think it's sometimes that's part of uh, the fear of this is, well, I don't want to know how my brain's doing because there's nothing I can do. And, you know, that's valid to some extent, but I think it's really important that we understand 
What we want to do is watch how your brain is changing across time. It's not about how you do today. It's about how that changes across time so that we can detect problems earlier. So if you think about it, I wish I had 20 years of data about my brain because I don't know if I'm stable or if I'm decreasing or if maybe I'm decreasing too quickly and I should be concerned. I just don't know that. And that's what we feel is missing a little bit from our brain health and the care of our brain by our medical system. I love the work you're doing at TGen, and we actually hosted a special, and you were featured on that special here in this very studio called TGen Talks, and the focus was precision aging. A lot of that has to do with brain health. Folks are living longer, which is great, but not so great if you have a diminished health. That's, I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's a tough for a lot of folks. Yeah, that's exactly right. So. We do a good job of making sure our bodies last as long as we do with modern medicine, but the brain tends to wear out before the body. And so what we talked about during uh, that time with TGen Talks was about precision aging and making sure that you're doing exactly what you should today to make sure that your brain ages as best as it can because we want to shrink that gap between when your brain wears out and when your body wears out. Right now, that's too large. We need to shrink that so that we're living long and we're living healthy. So I'm gonna ask you one of those uh, annoying journalist questions that's like over oversimplifying everything, but if you had a few tips that you could give people about optimal brain health, what would they be? Yeah, I, un unfortunately no one wants to know about these tips because they're things we already should be doing. It's things like get enough sleep, uh, watch your nutrition and your diet, um, exercise uh, frequently, uh, manage the diseases that you may already have because many diseases uh, also impact the brain. Uh, so for example, managing your high blood pressure is important for your brain as well. So there's a long list and that's part of the problem. This list is so long, you look at it and you say, I don't have the time to do every one of those things every day. And oftentimes you just end up throwing up your hands and saying, okay, I'm just gonna go on with my life but it is important to pay attention to the brain as well as the body. Very, very important to pay attention to the brain and it's also, we think part of the future is rearranging that list so that you would know personally what should be at the top. And that way you can focus on the, the one thing that's gonna give the most benefit to your brain. So folks who wanna find out more about your research and, and take part in it, uh, mindcrowd.org, ultimately what would you like to see happen with this research? It's a huge body of research you have there. Yeah, well, we want to keep growing it. We know that uh, you know engaging all segments of the population are really important, and eventually we want to have this make a big impact in your wellness visits, your normal care. Uh, we need the brain to be part of that. Well, you know, there's a huge uh, movement right now about focusing on mental health, and it, this is all part of it. Yes, so that's right. I think it's a positive trend. Doctor, thank you so very much. Again, uh, uh, mindcrowd.org. You can also check out tgen.org, which is uh, part of City of Hope. You guys are doing incredible work based in Phoenix, but obviously working nationally and internationally with all of your research. We appreciate you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. And thanks so much for watching. Good morning, sunshine. We appreciate all of you. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to throw in some comments, I might be able to uh, ask Dr. Matt some questions and get back to you on those because he's a pretty great guy. So we appreciate all of you. Thanks again, everyone. I'm Carrie Pena.